It's time now to welcome your next two players. Firstly, a player looking to reach his second shootout quarterfinal. He's sizzling. Stephen Hallworth and a player in his rookie season on tour, Long the Wong. Yeah, this is the uh, sixth match in the last 16. Stephen Allworth has been given this nickname, the Lincolnshire Sausage. Will he bring home the bacon this evening? We'll find out. First, leaving put himself in the quarterfinals. Long Zhuang of China, a debutant on tour this season, standing in his way here. Allworth reached the quarters back in 2017. And of course, he is an amateur, so that this again, as Mark Davis was saying about it being life changing, it would be for Stephen. If he won the tonight. Come on, the sausage, the first <laughs> the first cry of the night. It can only be the shootout. Long's had a good tournament. He's beaten Tom Ford, Nop and Senkam, Dwayne Jones. Three good wins. Holworth has beaten Jamie Jones, Mark Joyce, and Alex Ursa Backer. careful of but he has hit that cushion thankfully so that's all good I think the standard really does go up on finals night I mean these players have been the best, best players to get here but you know this notion that when it starts anyone can win it I'm not sure a few people will have been unlucky to have knocked out, but you know, see the, the overall standard and the understanding of this form of the game increase all the time. Even shots like that one was a good one. A lot of awareness there in finding a safety shot. Frame starting with a little standoff. Well, oh, that is the worst thing. Yeah, ball in hand for Hallworth. First good chance for him. Yeah, he's going to take the red just below the black spot and try and cannon the red on the black spot straight away to free the black. That's good thinking. Switched on thinking straight away. Nicely played. Just caught it on the thick side, really, because uh, you're always worried about missing it all together. Somewhere in between, that's what you're looking for. Nine. Sixteen. Not everyone has made good on ball in hand in this tournament. Let's see how far Stephen Allworth can get here. 17. 24. For now, a little bit of those reds. I'm not sure how many pot anywhere. I'd say none. And it was a hard shot to force the cue ball into them from where he was. Hurted. So the break ends here.
Stephen Harworth, 30. Double checking to see if there's any plant to the right corner there. I don't think so. Very handy lead is 34 points. Pretty handy cue ball as well. Is there a little edge that he can get to of a red? Through the gap between blue and pink? No. So we approach the halfway mark. Holworth with a good lead, but still five minutes. Oh, he's called a foul himself. That's a big moment. So now it's Long who has ball in hand. It certainly is a big moment because he was never looking like getting in. Well, Ben Williams said thank you, so he hadn't seen it. was a big moment but it's not been taken no I mean what a chance this was the yeah this was just caught the, with his cue the red but long did not take advantage at all all credit to Hallworth for that he may have, he may have hit the red may have pushed it either way it was not easily detectable but he called it on himself it was a very big match for him yeah, I mean, you know, in, in this format, you get one chance, don't you? You get the 10 minutes. So it was big anyway. He wasn't punished. This is why. <laughs> 33 the lead, three minutes 40 left. Stephen Hall with four. Well, just catching those other two reds has set up a third good chance for Allworth in this frame. Trying to get back on the tour. He was working in the plough, the pub in Lincolnshire, which is now shut down. Yeah. So he's pouring everything into his snooker. He's doing pretty well in the Q Tour, but if he could win this tournament tonight, then that would be him on with the 50,000 ranking points through the one-year list, so it's a massive evening ahead, and he's looking good to make the last eight. Five. Yeah, certainly 50,000 on that one-year list would get you more than enough points. That's a terrible shot, actually, and he had such a big area between green and brown so he's getting a little bit tense I think he has a healthy lead yeah didn't really go for the pot there played it thinner than the potting angle so as long as they hung got anything here he's missed his golden chance already he's got one more go at this oh fantastic what a beautiful pot. Yeah, we've seen a few twists tonight already, so a minute and 50 is long enough. Is he good enough? It's amazing how many long reds have been knocked in at this sort of time when you have to knock one in. They've been doing it, but can he get himself now close to Hallworth? Can he get himself a minute and a half over the line here? Yes, he didn't have any angle on that. He needed just a top side angle so he'd be closer to these reds. Yeah, just letting the cue ball run a little bit, which is just leaking a bit of time. Again, the cue ball just to obviously wait for it to stop. But that's a beautiful shot again. He's 
Getting pace in the boards, isn't he, Holworth? Yeah. Getting nervous now. Referee needs to be quick here. 20. 21. Don't know where the next red comes from. He's red black twice, really. I'm not sure how you're going to manage that. It's a game effort, but it was all just oh slipping away. He got there so far, but he just wasn't able to get the reds out and get the, the real chance made. Orth was certainly getting a bit edgy sitting, standing there watching. He was, but he surely threw now. Another great red flies in. It's too late, I'm afraid, for Long Juhang. <laughs> so it is. Stephen Allworth, remember, he's an amateur at the moment. He's trying to get back on the tour. And he's just 30 minutes away in playing time from being shootout champ. And he's delighted to reach the quarterfinals.